Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode we are doing something called Easy Command Block Fireworks. Yes, we are going to be uh, creating fireworks using only command blocks. So we're going to be using a little bit of code. Now also we're going to need to use a little bit of code straight away to kind of give ourselves a command block in the first place. And that happens like this. Press the T, forward slash, and then give. Now I'm just going to press G, and then press tab. And I tab through all the G uh, commands, okay, and it just says give. And then I'm going to press space. Then I'm going to press tab again. Now, Professor Adam, that's myself. So uh, so I'm going to say, give Professor Adam um, what? What shall I give Professor Adam? I shall give him command blocks. Now, we can just sort of tab through this, and it will kind of go through all the things. But command blocks aren't in that list. Command blocks are kind of a secret one. So we have to write it in. So command and then underscore block and then press return. And then we are given a command block, which is fantastic. Now, just as a little side note, I am uh, making this uh, tutorial in the snaps, in the snap, snip shot, in the snapshot, uh, which is 14W11B. Currently, uh, it will be 1.8 eventually. And, um, uh, and I'm just doing this really because the snapshot is what I'm working in at the moment, and it's gonna it's gonna be the thing that we're all gonna have to get used to. So we're gonna have to get used to, uh, rather than new number numbers being used uh, for command command blocks used to be one three seven. We used to say give Adam uh, one three seven, and it gave me a command block. Now you have to actually type in the word, and it actually makes a lot more sense, and it gives people a lot more idea about uh, what on earth this all means. So we're gonna put a command block down like this. There it is. Uh, I'm going to get an empty hand and I'm going to right click the command block and we can see there's our command block. Now, to sp summon some fireworks, we need to put some code into that. Now, right at the beginning of this, uh, I said it's uh, an easy uh, command block fireworks thing. And the reason it's easy is because there is an amazing website that I want to introduce you to. So let's just go to the website right now. Okay, here we are at the website, and it's minecraftupdates.com forward slash fireworks. And I'll give the uh, the link in the description below. You can have a look at that. And this is the amazing thing. We've got a couple of things, and I'll, I'll do the summoning one as, an, as a new tutorial as well. But we've got a fireworks tool. And it says fireworks, Minecraft fireworks generator. Create Minecraft firework displays. After seeing the various Minecraft New Year fireworks display videos on YouTube, I wasn't impressed with the results of all the hard work. They looked all the same with hundreds of random one color fireworks all shooting straight up. So I made this tool for the community to get more creative with fireworks. And with this tool, you can add multiple colors and explosions to your fireworks and even control the spawn point and direction. Have fun. So this is it. This is, it's just a page long. It's not very, uh, not very hard to do. And I'm going to do, I'm going to, okay, let's go through it together. Okay. So here, to use this, uh, to, Use the generated code, paste into a Minecraft command block, and activate the block with a redstone device. To get the command block, you must be in creative mode. Press T and say give command block, which I've just done. Okay, so explode time 20 position. Now, this is the X, the Y, and the Z. So X is kind of left and right, Y is up and down, and Z is the other to the left and right forward and back if you like. Uh, it depends on which way you're facing actually. Then it's the direction, which this is about the direction the fire is going to be traveling in. Um, and then we've got explosion type, explosion 2, explosion 3, explosion 4. So we've got all sorts of st stuff to do. So I'm just going to do, let's do a, let's do a large ball. Let's do it uh, a kind of a green color. We're going to fade the colors to uh, green and let's do shocking pink. Let's have a trail and let's do a little flicker. Okay. And that sounds good. Let's And let's do this um, like zero. But let's do five up and zero. Uh, let's make the that uh, positive and negative. So uh, X and Z are sort of neutral, if you like, and Y is up, so it should be shooting up, and we'll generate the code. So there we go. Just press that button, and it says summon fire at rocket entity. So we're going to take all this, copy that go into our command console and rather than copy and paste we're going to control V and that pastes it in. Now just go through that because sometimes it uh, copies, a, especially on my Mac, it copies a, a funny little kind of, uh, I don't know where it comes from, it's, it's like a symbol and it's not really supposed to be there. It's, uh, it's, it's there instead of something else. There doesn't seem to be anything weird in there so I'm going to press done. 
I'm going to go uh, time set night. Okay, make it nice and night time. Uh, let's get myself a redstone signal. So let's just get a button. Stick it on the side there. Okay, and press the button. Hooray, look at that. <laughs> so that's a very, very... Oh, look at that. Fantastic, very, very easy way. Oh, look at that, of doing it. So what I've done here is I've made a little uh, track around the outside. Uh, I've put a, a minecart just chugging away uh, with some activator rails around the outside as well. Um, and uh, and that's, that's just chugging away there. And it's uh, activating all the command blocks around the outside, giving us a little uh, demonstration of the fireworks in there. So I've, I've started uh, modifying each one. So there's a couple of modifications in there, but most of them are just exactly the same. Uh, but I'm sure if you wanted to create your own firework display uh, and make it sort of an amazing epic one and everybody goes, wow, how do you do that? That's so cool. Uh, you could do it this way. Uh, so again, do have a look at the website. It's just here. It's rather easy, rather simple, rather wonderful as well. Uh, create a different one for each command block and uh, and put them all together. Then use a, uh, a little system, a bit like this, uh, if you want to do that. Or you could even just do it uh, like you could wire the whole thing up with a bit of redstone yourself. Uh, there's lots and lots of ways to do it. Do leave some comments in the, uh, in the comments below. Do ask me any questions if you've got any kind of questions about this. Or even suggestions as well. I always love, do love kind of hearing about what people have got in mind and stuff like that. Uh, until next time, thank you ever so much for listening and uh, uh, take care and goodbye! Yeah.